she was alone, with no one to talk to, no one to laugh with, or even to cry on. She was alone. But she knew that losing a part of her is a puzzle to complete her becoming. She was alone. But in her own fantasy, you will see the greatest journey. She always asked herself, "Can I be happy without anyone?" Am I still able to use all my senses to see and feel with others the beauty of the engaging world of wonders? And she just wondered, what exactly is the reason why we are so afraid to be alone? What are we in search for? Are you looking for someone who can tell you how majestic our planet is, or are we just too dependent to the thought of being with someone to indulge our human nature and use them as a means of escape? Suddenly, by the realization she have had, she learned how to be alone and feel okay about it. She knew that being alone means being able to empower the love she has for herself, to gain much of it, to love others. That loving yourself is taking care of God's precious temple. And there was bottle brush calling us the ocean fire crackling beneath those stars. Seven miles that track sent us somewhere where we could breathe and be ourselves. This was the place, was the place better than all things left in our shadow long since gone. She knew she wasn't lonely. She is not alone. She is with herself and all of God's gracious creation.